Well, it was an uh, uh, outstanding first practice, uh, good spirit. I think the thing I'm most pleased about, uh, it, it was organizationally went very well. Uh, and that's a hard thing when it's your first uh, practice with all new coaches and all new players. Uh, I'm proud of the players for how they prepared for this practice. So they had no assignment problems, uh, certainly a lot to clean up. And uh, we're not in pads, so you can only do so much. So it was a good start, uh, but looking forward to the next one. Derek, for guys like Chris Walker, who are a little banged up, how yeah. will you manage anybody who maybe who's a little sore through the spring? Yeah, well, I, I think it starts with having a philosophy for injured, injured players. And, and, and we look at it. You know, they have kind of four objectives when they're banged up or injured. First is rehabilitation. We want to get them back. Secondly, there's got to be a conditioning component because when they come back, they need to be in good uh, physical condition. Uh, third thing is some kind of positional development that they can do. So, you know, if they're limited in the arm, they can use their legs. If they're limited in the knee, then they can do some things with their hands. And so we're going to keep working that. And then the fourth thing is getting good mental reps. Uh, so we have a plan for all our injured players, and it all depends on what the extent of their injury is. And most of the knee braces are, are preventive, and it's, you know, the D-line, it's optional. So that's up to them. I saw you, you with the red jersey. How you feeling? Feeling all right. It's just a thing I'm going to have to go through, you know, same old stuff. But uh, my trainers are going to do a great job and get me back. So I should be out here soon. Is the plan to, to, to try to be out in scrimmages and oh, that sort of thing? Yeah, I'm going to be out here. I don't want to miss the spring because this is the most important time for me. So. It'll be fun. Obviously, you guys uh, have a pretty wide open competition. How do you feel about that going in? Uh, you know, you, just, you can't for, ask for a better opportunity, to be honest. You know, and uh, I'm just super excited to be here. You know, we got a great team, you know, great staff, you know, great facilities here, and, uh, you know, just can't wait to wear that orange. Anything different or unexpected out of a first, uh, first practice for a new head coach? Um, you know, not really. You know, it's football practice. You know, you can't really change that much. So, uh, you know, it's just a good day to come out here and get better and just uh, excited for the future. Oh, I love it. You know, I've been waiting on this for the whole all season, you know, getting back in uh, playing football, you know, the conditioning. Not my uh, favorite part of football, but, you know, being able to come out here and get started back in spring ball is real fun. Perfect day for it, too. Oh, wonderful weather. Wonderful football weather. I was telling Nick Revez it feels like I haven't played football in forever. So it was good to get out here and get what they call the scabs off of, you know, just learn football again and get out here and play football. Any major differences with Coach Dooley that you can see so far? Not really. The tempo of practice is everything for us. Like we said last year and like it is this year, our practice is going to be really hard so the game comes easy to us. Uh, I think it went pretty well for the first day of practice. Uh, uh, with the with the new coaches and stuff, everybody had a lot of enthusiasm. Everybody it was a kind of quick pace, a change from last year, which uh, it, was, it took a little bit longer, and it was more strenuous. But uh, this year is a quick pace, and uh, everything went smooth. What do you think of day one, Joe? Uh, I think we did pretty good. Uh, I think uh, offensively we caught on to the offense well. Uh, made a couple of mistakes, but it was fixable. So we did pretty good. Can, can you kind of discuss? how coaches go about winning you guys over. I mean, you were obviously upset at the change. You were one of the guys that was most upset. How do they win you over? Just be themselves, you know? Actually be here for us and try to get us better. That's all I really care about, you know? I've had so many coaches, I'm not really looking forward to relationships outside of football. I just want him to coach the hell out of me, and I'm, I'm going to play the best I can and do everything I can for him. So.